that made me want to play football. I wanted to be that person. With Mrs. Fox in the TV studio productions, she... I got accepted into Lock Haven University for the summer program. I'm going in for teaching. We could not do anything that we do in here without the support of the foundation. We have received over $18,000. Having the support from the foundation has given our students the ability to dream big. It only happens in Williamsport. Hey! Work it, work it, work it, work it! Let's go that way, let's go that way. In 2012, the foundation stepped up and, and helped lead the Return to Glory campaign. I mean, I still come up over the hill in the morning on a nice summer day and look at that field and like, wow, that looks, that looks nice. And I get that comment so many times. I mean, it's a beautiful setting out there. And it all started when the foundation was willing to help us get going and, and help organize it. Bringing drones and robotics and alternative energy into the classroom really help students see what could be out there and helps them thinking about their future career, their future choices, what their next chapter is going to be. You know, we try to get as much as we can with what we're given, but the fact that we have the help of the foundation for different projects that I do, it allows me and my students to think outside of the box, to do more. The foundation's support of the library system, it has allowed us to bring new books in, both fiction and nonfiction. And so with the foundation being so generous to our elementary libraries, our circulation here in the Williamsport Area School District, K through six, has really increased exponentially. We're so grateful because there's been over 1,100 books donated through the foundation to the elementary libraries here in the Williamsport Area School District. The funding that's been facilitated through the foundation, through EITC, has helped to expand upon projects that we would do in the classroom and then taking them a million steps further. So having received over $40,000 in support over the past decade from the foundation has been just priceless. The foundation has provided opportunities for students to explore and come up with new interests and explore those later on in their academic career. Colleges and universities have been very impressed with the expertise that the students have because the program believed in us. Having the experiences that have been facilitated by the foundation in the classroom um, allows students to see the potential of their voice in the community, in their school community, but also you know, in a global community. It really has enhanced our athletic program, allowing kids to get ready for the next level too. Um, said this is probably better than a lot of Division three schools have for a fitness center and weight room and our kids take advantage of it and that's a great opportunity for us. The foundation has allowed me to bring many tools into the classroom to support those needs. I think it's important for students to find their passion young in life so they can explore all opportunities they have as they move forward. When it comes to reading, you know, a gift towards reading, though, gets opened again and again and again. There are school districts in our area who don't have, you know, the capability to do things like I do. I can't thank the foundation enough. With the foundation and the generous support of the community, it's allowed our middle school to build one of the best STEM programs in the region. But I think that the big, the big take-home feeling is empowerment. And how empowering, again, to have people believe in me enough and believe in my students enough that they're willing to back these programs that we have here. The athletic program helping us grow and, and provide things for students that we just couldn't do through the school district and um, having that foundation has really helped us. You know, I really am very grateful. I didn't realize it was $18,000, so holy Hannah Bananas.